because of vaccination, we will be dealing with this differently. Um, and How in so? term, Because, well, at the first stage, we didn't know what we were dealing with in the, the beginning of the pandemic, so there was a full lockdown. Uh, so I think now we're going to look at this, because we, are, we have a largely vaccinated population, the booster has been rolled out, that will give protections, and that governs then how we organise society. So that means so the likes of I mean, closing down nightclubs early, reducing the number of yeah, household think, but, visits. Yeah. You know, we do have a vaccinated population and we're doing these things. Uh, but hold on, no, we, the, the economy is far more open. Society it is far more open now uh, because of vaccination. The economy is, is the fastest growing economy in Europe in Q3. Yes. Fastest growing by a long margin. The point I'm making is let's not underestimate the degree to which we have opened society and we have opened large parts of the economy from construction and, to okay. retail right across the board. I guess what I'm trying uh, to get at, if uh, you can't rule out further restrictions, what might those further restrictions be? But I'm not going to speculate on that kind of thing. No, I was asked a very straight question. I gave a very honest answer. I'm not, you know, at no stage am I going to rule out uh, yeah. the possibility. But we but don't, don't know what, but we don't, don't know what no, they may no, be. But we don't envisage yet. it because I think you're into the, into the realm of, of, of speculation in terms of the course of, of, of Omicron, for example, which is the, is the key ingredient here. Uh, I think the, suffice to say that vaccination is going to be important. We will have the capacity to... Uh, develop new vaccines mm -hmm. within 100 days to meet new variants. Just say we have antivirals coming onto the scene now. That's a good development, so the medicines are going to get better. I actually think 2022, I'm hopeful in terms of how we deal with COVID. I think we're going through this difficult period now because of the arrival of a variant, uh, which has caused concern because of the number of mutations and so on and all the aspects of it. But that said, I think we have a lot more now in our armory than we had 12 okay. months ago. And the research is continuing. Uh, Europe is working well together uh, in terms of advances in medicines okay. and in vaccines, and that's what gives me hope.